Hey guys, what's up? It's Brian here from Electronic Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new Xbox 360 Slim, which came out three to four days ago. Um, now, is this worth the $300 price tag of all the new features, and is it worth upgrading from an old Xbox? I'll, I'll be answering both of those questions uh, by the end of this video. On the start off, one of the new features that the Xbox has is the vent is on top of the Xbox as compared to the back of the Xbox. Um, some of the good things about having the vent on top of the Xbox is hot air rises and your hot air doesn't really uh, hit the back wall or go under your Xbox where, um, as, if, as if the vent were in the back. Um, this way your Xbox doesn't get really loud and it doesn't give you red rings. So if your Xbox is having red rings, this is a fantastic upgrade. Um, personally for me, my Xbox had red rings and this is the reason I bought the new one because I heard the vent was on top of the Xbox as compared to the back. And that was really like the big reason why the Xbox was getting red rings to begin with because the vent was in back of the Xbox. Um, so the, X the Xbox has a nice new sleek design. It's a lot smaller and it doesn't weigh as much. And it doesn't need as many volts as the old Xbox did. Now here you can see the new power button. It's chrome now as compared to just white or black. Um, and now it's touch sensitive. And whenever you turn it on it makes a nice little beep sound which I'll be demonstrating um, towards the end of the video. Over here you have your new sync button which is a lot bigger than the original sync button and preferably I think it clicks a bit better too but that shouldn't be a reason why you upgrade the X upgrade uh, to a new Xbox. Also here you have your two USB ports um, which is just like the old Xbox. Now over here you have your disk drive and over here you have your eject button which is also uh, in chrome and it makes the beep sound and is touch sensitive just like the power button. Now on top of the Xbox you have more vents and fans, so your Xbox shouldn't be giving you red rings. Um, now on the opposite side of this you have your hard drive, which I'll be showing you right now. Um, now your hard drive, uh, if you have an old Xbox and you have an old hard drive, which is pretty big, um, you can fit your old hard drive on this, which is extremely annoying. Um, I have an old hard drive and I want to transfer all my data to my new Xbox, but I can't. Um, if you're planning on getting one of these Xboxes uh, and you have an old Xbox hard drive, you're going to have to buy a transfer cable, um, which I haven't even think is released yet for this Xbox, um, but it may be. I'm not 100% on this, but you can still transfer your gamer tag. So on top of the $300 on the Xbox, you're going to have to spend $20 more, which is really annoying. I wish they would include a transfer cable with the Xbox, but they didn't. Now here you can see the hard drive. And there's a little tab pulling out that says 250 gigs. All you have to do is just pull, and it just comes out. Now here is the new hard drive. It's significantly smaller and lighter. Um, here you can see the Xbox logo and the 250 gig tab. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can't fit your old hard drive in here, and it's extremely annoying, like I said before. So that might kind of you know, turn you off from buying it, because you can't really transfer hard drives from one Xbox to another. And if you guys have any friends that come over that like to, you know, bring their hard drives over and, you know, play with their gamer tags and everything like that, you won't be able to do that if you guys have two different Xboxes. So all you have to do to put the hard drive back in is just slide it in and press it down. And all you have to do is put this piece right like that. And now I'm going to show you the ports. Now, as you can see, the, uh, most of the adapters are pretty much the same. We have a new power cord adapter, um, which basically uh, has a new design. It's more flexible and it suits the new Xbox Slim perfectly. Um, since the Xbox doesn't need as much volts, the power brick is also a lot smaller and lighter. Um, and the only really difference is it's got three USB ports as you can see right there and it uh, has a connect port right there. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on are, am I going to be able to connect my old Xbox uh, with Kinect? Um, frankly, I don't know. They haven't really released that information yet. Th this Xbox says it's Kinect ready. I'm not sure if all the old Xboxes are. Um, and I thought it would be wireless, but it looks like it's going to be wired, which is, you know, kind of a con in my opinion. But, you know, we'll see when it comes out. Um, now, I'm going to show you guys how quiet this Xbox really is and uh, how the power and eject button look. Alright guys, now that i got the Xbox all set up, um, I'm going to show you how quiet the Xbox really is and how the power button works. Now, the power button is extremely, extremely sensitive and it will turn on to even the slightest touch, which I'm going to be showing you right now. Now you heard a bing sound. That wasn't that that didn't happen on the old Xbox and every time you turn the Xbox on and off it will make that sound. Now I'm going to stop talking for a minute so you guys can just hear how loud this Xbox really is. And even with the disc skin, it just makes the same amount of noise as it is now and the volume doesn't really change at all when reading. So uh, listen carefully. 
Now, I'm not sure if you can really, you know, tell the difference, but when I do uh, my Xbox uh, Versus video um, with the old Xbox and the new Xbox, you're going to be able to hear a significant difference. But if you can't tell, the Xbox uh, Slim is really, really quiet when playing games. And when you have your volume on, you can't really hear it at all. Um, it does make a slight bit of noise, but nothing compared to the old Xbox. Um, maybe with some of the newer models of the Xbox, um, some people were telling me the Modern Warfare 2 Xbox doesn't make any sound, but this is said to be a lot quieter. Now I'm going to show you how the eject button works, and it's pretty similar to the uh, power button. It makes a bing sound, and uh, I didn't, you don't even really have to touch, you just have to really hover your finger over it, and it should just turn off. Very, very simple. Um, Alright guys, that's pretty much it. So if you want to get a new Xbox uh, Slim, and you already have an old one, it depends on you. If you need a new hard drive and you don't already have wireless Wi-Fi and your Xbox has red rings, um, I would think about upgrading. But if your Xbox is in working condition, you already have a Wi-Fi adapter, you have a, a plenty of room on your uh, Xbox hard drive, um, there's really no point of you guys uh, upgrading. But if you're a fanboy, I can see maybe some of you want to add it to your collection, which yeah, you can do. But um, if you're starting out, you don't have an Xbox, you want to get one, this is a fantastic deal. It's got built-in Wi-Fi. It uh, doesn't have red rings, a new vent. It's got uh, a ton of new features, a great new look. And I really, really uh, suggest you guys buy this. And also, it has 250 gigs of memory. That is a lot. I had uh, 20 gigs when I first bought my Xbox, and this is over 10 times that. So it's a fantastic deal if you're just starting out. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please click subscribe for more videos on all your tech and electronic products. Also give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out guys with all the support I'm getting. I have over 6,000 subscribers now, over a million views, and it's all thanks to you guys. So guys, keep subscribing, rating the video, and giving it a thumbs up. It really, really helps me out. And if any of you haven't, you know, participated in my giveaway, you know, check it out. It's on my channel. And I'm giving away a $50 Amazon gift card to one lucky winner. Also, guys, follow me on Twitter for the latest updates, updates and news on uh, the latest tech content. And until the next video, guys, catch you guys later. Peace.